Last night's episode was funny. It started off hot and it was funny. I stayed awake for the whole thing. Is there anywhere that you want to start in particular? Should we just go in start order? Start at the beginning. Yeah, of who was first. Okay, well, first up was Tiger Lily and Adnan. They're fighting, and he basically just says, you know, we're on our honeymoon, and let's just sweep everything under the rug and talk about it later. Later meaning that never. Was, I thought that was a good <laughs> idea, because flipping to the end, Tiger Lily is in tears that she has to leave him. So they must have something special. I mean, they like each other, but like... It's sexual, Sam. Purely, yeah. He's 22. Yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine going out with a 22-year-old. I mean, I, I don't know how old her real kids are, but I'm sure they're like well, kind of close. Well, she's 41. We don't know when she had them, but yeah, they're probably teenagers, I'm sure. Or she wouldn't be leaving them like this. Yeah, the whole but thing But she is probably has a nanny. Sus. Who knows, right? I mean... Oh, I'm sure she does. She's got someone... Doing her hair, traveling with her, and her stylist. She has a nanny, 10 babysitters, and a cat. Maybe a dog or two. Yeah. Who knows? Well, she really liked the camel at Petra. She said the camel had really long lashes. Like me. Yeah. And she'd and probably have had... more luck if she married the camel. Well, yeah, the camel wouldn't boss her around. <laughs> yeah, no rules with the camel. No. But this guy's nothing but a rule. Every two seconds, another rule comes out of his mouth. And sticking with the camels, she also said that she really liked riding the camels. And then she also said that she really likes to ride anything. Yeah, that was kind of <laughs> telling right there, wasn't it? But why couldn't she find something to ride in Texas? It's a big state. Yeah. With yeah, a lot of crazy. guys to ride. And horses. And, and yeah. cows. Oh, my God. I love the car ride when the friends were just in the backseat, like, bringing up totally valid points, and Adnan's just... What are you giving, doing like, trying to stare. wreck my, my marriage? You know, what he are was you pissed. Doing? I don't blame him, but they were just trying to make certain points. I'm sure the producer pushed them to do that. How is your feeling, baby? Are you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm taken back a little bit earlier she was like really standing up for herself but then they just put a pin in it and they're gonna sweep it underneath the rug they're happy now but i feel that it will be difficult for them to kind of figure out all these cultural differences He's already married so there's no 90 days here i don't know where this story is going i guess it's going back to texas and i yeah. bet you that he'll be flying out there soon to see her and get a green card. Did you catch, too, that she said she was going to buy a new house basically for him? No, I didn't catch that. She said that she needed to buy a new house because he's coming. So. Well, because I think she has a condo, don't you? So maybe she wants a house. Yes. So that there's more room for the kids and the whole thing. Or she's going to move him in the house and keep the kids in the condo. Maybe. I mean, Who she knows? just has so much money, like. She's just going to buy a house for some 22-year-old kid. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy. I mean, he is mature for 22. Yeah, I'll give him that. I mean, but there are times throughout the show where you see, oh, he is just like a 22-year-old. 22-year-old with a lot of power over a 41-year-old woman. So the next one they showed was Rain, and it was pretty much just Rain yelling at the sister it's the whole time. awful. Did I not always tell you that I always had a feeling about sisters? This altercation between Renee and my sister is absurd to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's fine. Calm She's fine. down. It is hard to witness that level of anger from Renee. It's all right. Calm. It's all right. It's Calm fine. down, girl. He said she had anger issues. He's been talking to her for five years. Something had to come out. She had to get mad in that five-year period, even though it's just on video or whatever. You know, when you've got anger issues, it's hard to hide them much longer than, you know, 12 months. They and came out she, real quick. It did. And, you know, she, he still loves her. It's hard to all of a sudden not love somebody that you think you're in love with for five years. Did you see how they 
blacked out showed us what he was seeing the white yeah that was kind of interesting yeah that was that was interesting at it because he thinks she thinks he sees her heart even though he can't see that he knows and she wanted him to stick up for her and he really didn't Ultimately, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to share a room with her. He doesn't want to do anything because of his faith. He wants to stick with the faith. And she wants and, him to break it. Yeah, and if he has sex with her, it's going to make it even more difficult to break up. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, the, the sex is probably great, though. She is crazy. Well, she <laughs> hasn't had a boyfriend very many times. Only some one-night stands no. that produce babies. So I don't know how good she is. <laughs> Not good enough to keep him around, I'll tell you that. Moving out. How is it going to help our relationship? Um, being here with you and your family like this is not going to help our relationship at all. I feel like an intruder. One, an intruder in your pants, and two, an intruder in the house. Okay? Okay, you know what, babe? I don't want you to leave. Well, it is not. It doesn't matter about what you want. Like I said, it's all about action. Babe. When you refuse to be with me in a certain location, I'm done. He doesn't want to go, and he feels. I think he feels insecure. Look, he's blind. He can't see. And if he goes, he's dependent on her. What if she gets mad? Out of here, you know. I mean, oh my god. So he's been depending on his sister and the sister's husband for a long time, and that's hard to let go of. You know, and he probably promised the sister, you know, he's going to stick to his faith and not have sex with her because supposedly they talked very sexual in their relationship online. And now it's like nothing. Yeah. And that's really all she wants. I feel like. Yeah. If she's that built was there, it up. she'd be normal. She built it up over Ish. five years. The She's not going to be normal. No. But she's had the sexual tensions there for five years. And I think he's just afraid going any farther with her, even though he claims he loves her and all this. You know, I'm sure he does love her on some level, but there's a lot of red flags. Even for someone who can't see, can see the red flags. Next was probably my favorite of the whole episode was Niles and Matilda. Absolutely. Poor Niles. He is so done. He is not going to get out of that wedding. So first first off, they show the after the first night in the hotel room where she was trying to have sex with him. And he said no, which I'm shocked. I really thought he was going to give in. Well, we, he said that this happened in a past relationship and, you know, it didn't work out. It's a slippery out. slope. Yeah. Yeah. That once you have sex with them. They go crazy. That's kind of what he said, didn't he? <laughs> That's exactly what he said. He said his ex wanted sex six times a day. <laughs> and he's like, didn't I do she not go want to that with school or work or something. Come on. That's just ridiculous. With my ex, we jumped into the sex too early. It, it can change you, you know? I understand. So let's get married first before we can have sex. That would probably be best. That did you was also crazy. catch? Did you also catch um, when they were walking on the beach? She called him daddy, and he called her mommy. Yeah. <laughs> and then he got her nails done so he could go buy a ring. Boy, the prices are good over there, Sam. Maybe you should uh, do a mail order ring. They're great. Two ninety. I was like, oh my god. I was like, oh my god, Sam. Lauren, who wants to buy Face Family a house. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. He can't even buy dinner. Yeah, not much happened with them. Uh, he said that he was, he's going to tell her that he's willing to be monogamous with her. He did tell which, her. Which, that like isn't news to her though. Like she already assumed well, that. Well, she thought they were monogamous. So this is like, oh my God. Well, she's given him a second chance. She still loves him. And she has never had a boyfriend. And, you know, he... In her mind, he's American, good looking in her mind. Okay. And she wants to give it a second chance. I understand that. And he's going to prove yeah. to her and he wants to buy her family a house. I, the trust is gone, though. This is like, I'm skeptical of this whole thing. Well, I, I can see the, the side that she's giving him a second chance. He thought he told her he was sleeping with other people. 
He did. He Once said, a week. I'm sleeping over. I'm sleeping with so and so tonight. Oh, you're staying overnight in her mind. I mean, she would have ended it right then. She thought okay. he was literally sleeping. Yes, that it was a sleepover. You know, Once just a week. he didn't. He Once didn't have a anywhere week, to go. Mom. I know. Once a week, and how They've many been different for partners? Six months. Yeah. At least it's not five years. Um, and he told her he loved her and all this. And, you know, that's pretty heavy duty for women who especially haven't had a boyfriend. And then someone tells them they love them. Why are you having sex with others? But you always say you love me. I do love you. And I do care about you. I want to be with you in a relationship with you. I'm not going to sleep with anybody else. I'm not going to look at anybody else. I'm sorry I cheated on you. I'm very, very hurt. I know. You know I can do it again. Uh, yeah, when you know, you know. But if, if Lauren's telling you after a day that he loves you, it's probably bullshit. One chat on the phone with a video. Yeah, what did they even talk about? Well, he only has a one-track mind, so... Oh, you're from she... the Philippines and you're a ladyboy? I love you. Yeah, I love you, and you're so pretty, <laughs> and your hair, and da, 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 da. You know, they're, it's, it's wild. We have Vanya, who we just met for the first time. She's 41 years old from Florida. She has four jobs. She's a belly dancer, a permanent makeup artist, a vegan baker, and a medical sales rep. And they showed her in all her different outfits that she wears to her different jobs i was very impressed by that yeah she's a career woman i she doesn't all the way do much she, else she owns her house she owns her car she hasn't had a boyfriend in seven years i understand and now she is ready because she is a what'd she call herself a sex camel yeah i guess that means she's storing it up did you get she's that she's storing that what, it up is that what that meant sam I mean, she can go dry for a long time. Yeah. And now that was the crazy, time though. Up. Her story about like surviving the war and everything. Oh. That was he- I wasn't expecting that at all. I think that was good because it gives people an education about things that are happening and have happened in this world that we don't know. And that yeah. was one of them. And also, and no wonder really... she has a work ethic. Yeah, of course. She has a great work ethic. But swallowing the fire. Because she learned in a parking lot, she stayed there till midnight. I'm not going to swallow fire, Sam. You can't make me. I really love expanding myself and pushing myself to achieve and learn new things. Like I was at a festival on a beach and I saw a guy blowing fire. And I go, ooh, I want to do that. And then I talked to him. We stayed in the parking lot until midnight until I was brave enough to swallow some fire. He's 38. He lives with his mom. The mom doesn't know about her. We just learned at the end of the episode. And he didn't text. She was about to board the plane and he didn't text her all day. I feel like I wouldn't board the plane if the person wasn't talking to me. I wouldn't either because remember, she's already had one thing with him that he called her up and said, I'm dating someone else here, so I can't see you anymore. And then a few months later, he texted her. Well, that relationship's over. Can we try again? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, what the I hell? don't know if I would have. I'm sure she's another one where it's like, there's probably plenty of people in Florida who would date her. Oh, yeah. Like, or one state what are you over. Doing? You know, she didn't have to go that far away. Yeah, and she's also like, he's very successful. He's a basketball player. like Living with his mom. He's and, a pro and, basketball player in Croatia. He doesn't make money. No, it's not like being in the NBA, one of her friends said. He's not in the NBA. Well, our last interesting character was Brian. First of all, Brian said he's been coming to Brazil for 15 years. And he said every time he slept with the, the girl on the first night. But Ingrid is different. Because she's special. <laughs> So yeah. now she feels weird. First of all, he just comes to Brazil and sleeps with women. Where does he meet these women? Same place and he then, met Ingrid. Yeah, well, I guess. And then he bought her a bikini. Was that last night? Yeah. And then he's all over her, and she didn't like that. Yeah. 
And before that was a dinner with the friends, and Ingrid, Ingrid and, said she approved him for sex, basically. And and didn't you think the friends, that whole thing was kind of weird? How many times, I mean, I would never take my boyfriend out with my friends, and my friends would say, okay, now what about the sex? Yeah. I'm like, what? Aren't we going to, I mean, just get to meet each other? No, they wanted right away to know everything. I've, and that's when he told the 15, the 15 women story. I mean, I'm feeling so confused. I thought it was... A great compromise, a massage and, and oral sex. There has to be something else going on. I'm always conscious about how women see me, whether I'm attractive or not, or whether they, they feel that something can happen with a person like me. I didn't think I'd have to worry about that with Ingrid, but clearly I was wrong. And then, so she comes into the room wearing lingerie, and the whole time I'm just thinking, there's a camera guy in the room, you know, like filming them with them. Unless like, they so set up awkward. a, maybe they just set up a camera in the room. It was moving around. It was, yeah, it was a true. guy. <laughs> or a girl. Or a girl. But then, you know, and she, you could tell she felt uncomfortable. But then I, I don't understand what happened. He didn't have a condom. And then she basically just like pushed him away is I the story she, that they both said. Yeah. And I thought that she thought he was coming on way too fast. He was just all over her and she didn't like that. That's what I got out of it. Yes. Tem um preservativo? Não, não tem. Tá, então pelo menos deixa eu. Cara. Então quando eu falei que não, peraí, vamos ter paciência. Esperar mais um tempo. Vamos, né? Ele ficou chateado e vazou. None of it makes sense, Sam. None yeah, of it. I, I think more is going to come out next episode. He better go buy some more gifts for those for that kid. At least three toys this time. Yeah, at least. And some clothes. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see what happens next week and the rest of the season. It's it's really heating up. Next week we see uh, Sonny yeah. finds out that the boyfriend is in town. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Well, I love that preview. Now, Sonny, would you love me no matter what? Oh, no matter what. <laughs> and then the next scene, they show him walking away. Get out. Go back to America. You know, it's like, oh, my God. Well, he's a liar. She asked him. <laughs> yeah. She didn't she have asked to him. tell him. Would, would anything bother you about me? No, honey. No, no. Mwom, mwom, mwom. And then, boom. Just that. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah, it's going to be great. I can't wait. 